Hi everyone and welcome to Ada Biz Julie. For today's video, we are continuing with our new series on needed Ada Biz fundamentals to ensure you pass your Ada Biz certification exams. Please remember to give me a like, subscribe, and remember to reach out with any questions or feedback. And I'm gonna start off this lesson with an exam tip. Usually I sprinkle the exam tips throughout, but this is one of my biggest exam tips and a tip for the real world too, so I wanna share this in the beginning to make sure you hear it. Dive deep into the AWS Well-Architected Framework, especially if you're preparing for AWS certifications. The AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam is based off of the AWS Well-Architected Framework. So honest answers only, have you read it? Let me know if you have and what your favorite part is. I absolutely love this white paper. My very first assignment at Linux Academy was to create content diving deeper into the AWS Well Architected Framework, and every time I read it, I learn something new, and AWS does update it pretty regularly with new content too, so that's another tip for the exam, which is to remember to stay current. If you have not reviewed or read it in a while, dive back in. The AWS Well Architected Framework is AWS's best practices and core strategies for architecting systems in the cloud. It helps you design, build, and operate reliable, secure, efficient, and cost-effective systems that will likely increase your success. And AWS has based this on six pillars, operational excellence, security, reliability, performance efficiency, cost optimization, and sustainability. And you may be asking, Julie, why is this important? Why are we discussing what is AWS and cloud computing, the shared responsibility model, and now the AWS Well Architected Framework? Well, the reason is that this will give you a solid basis for understanding AWS and the fundamentals, and it will benefit you to take the time to learn and understand these fundamental concepts going into your exam. Let's do a quick high-level overview of the six pillars, and then in the next few videos for this fundamental series, we will dive a bit deeper into some of the pillars. The first pillar is operational excellence, which is the ability to support development and run workloads effectively, gain insights into their operations, and to continuously improve supporting processes and procedures to deliver business value and there are five design principles for operational excellence. The security pillar encompasses the ability to protect data, systems, and assets to take advantage of cloud technologies to improve your security, and there are seven design principles for security. The reliability pillar encompasses the ability of a workload to perform its intended function correctly and consistently when it's expected to. This includes the ability to operate and test the workload throughout the total life cycle. And there are five design principles for reliability. The performance efficiency pillar includes the ability to use computing resources efficiently to meet system requirements and to maintain that efficiency as demand changes and technologies evolve. And there are five design principles for performance efficiency. The cost optimization pillar includes the ability to run systems to deliver business value at the lowest price point. And there are five design principles for cost optimization. And the sixth pillar is the sustainability pillar. This pillar focuses on environmental impacts, especially energy consumption and efficiency, because they are important levers for architects to inform direct actions to reduce resource usage and there are six design principles for sustainability. And ensure you understand the best practices for all the pillars too. We will be diving deeper into the design principles and best practices over the next few lessons in this series. The AWS Well Architected Framework also identifies a set of general design principles to facilitate good designs in AWS. And those are to stop guessing your capacity, use auto scaling test systems at production scale so create production scale testing complete testing and then decommission your resources this way you only pay for the test environment when it's running and you can simulate a live production environment at a fraction of the cost 
of, of testing on premises. Automate your architecture, and this makes experimentation easier. Automation removes manual efforts and allows you to track changes, audit any impacts, and roll back if needed. Allow for evolutionary changes. So your environment will likely be changing over time. And in AWS, you can automate and test with a lower risk and cost to testing on premises and drive architectures using data. And this one's really important. Ensure you're using the correct metrics to track how your designs are performing. Use this data to make improvements over time. And we'll talk a lot about that throughout these fundamental series. And then the final one is to improve through game days and run tests to see your systems at production level to see where improvements or adjustments are needed before going live in production. The AWS well-architected framework is really important in the real world for the exams and especially for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Certification. You will most likely see questions on your certification exam asking which design principles for specific requirements or use cases would you choose when designing systems or solutions in AWS? So take some time to read and build solutions. Ensure you know how to design for failures, decouple your components, which reinforces the service-oriented architecture design principle, implement elasticity using auto-scaling, security and parallelization, which are necessary for building highly scalable applications in AWS. And then back to the first lesson for this series, an advantage of AWS is being able to focus on services and designs, not servers and hardware, as well as fast implementation and launching of resources too. In the next few lessons for this fundamental series, we will be taking deeper dives into the AWS Well Architected Framework pillars. Thanks so much for watching.